again to another video my beautiful people of Ghana and beyond I welcome you if you're watching from outside of Africa if you're not Ghanaian anywhere you're watching from I welcome you to another interesting video first I want to apologize to all of you my beloved Ashantians <laughs> hey I didn't know you have this much schools in one region see the Ashanti people like I've heard a lot about this region okay even before I get I came to Ghana but when I came to Ghana I went to Kumasi what I noticed there is that you will see businesses everywhere like everybody is selling and buying so I didn't know that you love education this much i'm sorry i thought that you were into business making the money i didn't know that you guys have schools like this yeah i know some people think i ignored them i'm ignoring them and all that no yeah Santiwa school is a very popular one right from the very beginning of you know right from the very beginning of this series I stumbled on a couple of videos from this school but I don't know I felt like okay let me just be everywhere you know touch here touch here touch here so that some people will not think I'm ignoring them all right so it took me this long to get here and I'm, I'm glad that we are finally here yeah Asantiwa school is one of the most brilliant these girls are very brilliant and they like to stand up for themselves just like yasantiwa herself so today we are taking a look at yasantua all girls senior high school located in the ashanti region of ghana and um, this school has produced prominent people both in music this school has produced incredible women in ghana and i'm super proud of the outturn of like i'm proud of i'm proud of this school i'm telling you so without saying too much let's go check this school out and i'll be back let's go now this is yasantua girl senior high school one of the best in the city established way back 1960 by dr kwame So we have the Prempe College Cadet team. 
And then we have the Prempe College Color Party. So from the senior high school, we have Business Tech Institute Cadet. Hey, Juma, I don't know. Yasantua Senior High School. They just won their contest with such an impressive overturn in a contest in the second and third rounds. They were actually lagging behind at the third position, but they were able to overturn it and become the winners, winning this particular contest with one point. They won with 40 points as against in career or St. Joseph's SHS. You were almost written off, but you managed to overturn things. How, how does that make you feel? I'm proud we were able to make it. So let's say going forward, what should we expect from your and our girls? Okay, just before you, you talk, I would say that since you, when you came inside, everything changed. How does this make you feel? I feel like it's all because of God. Had it not been for him, I don't think I would have been able to make any difference. So I gave him all the glory and I feel okay for being able to. In the third round, I think you were you were lagging behind by some four or six points. How did that make you feel? I wasn't worried because I could predict that I was we were going to emerge as You men. could project hey, why are you a prophetess? I'm not, but then I could I from everything I could see that we are going to emerge. feeling okay at all but we knew that with God's grace we'll be able to pass through and we would win this contest because we know that whatever that we do God will bless us and God will help us proceed forward with whatever that we want to do and we will aim high we will win every single thing every single contest that we take we will win in the mighty name of Jesus amen okay let me also find from you you white lady you can see your boys are standing here you are going to meet them in the regional championship or even in a tournament what should we expect from you? Is it going to be just love, you just give it to them and then go, or you actually fight them? No, oh, no, when they meet us, they are not going to just leave us to go, they are going to fight. They are also going to show them that we deserve them, yeah, you know. You are going to show that you deserve them? You know, they are brilliant, we are also brilliant, so we have to really show that we are also brilliant, you know. I know it got a bit tense in the room, but once the, your boys came inside and they started cheering you on, I realized everything over 10, how did that make you feel? Oh, I felt really great. At that point, I didn't know what to feel. Like, that's what we call we are officially blown away. Like, we are officially blown away. I don't have much to say. Just that we are officially blown away. That's what I can say. So, what message do you have for them, your boys, or even your lady rivals, St. Louis? Okay, for our lady rivals, we are just coming. We are all good, so we expect to see the best from each of us. And so, I always thank them for it, coming to support us. That's all. Okay, so these are the ladies from Yasantua Senior High School. And right here, uh, you can see 
they are boys standing here they came inside to cheer them on and they did some marvelous things in there they cheered their girls on and they overturned the event to win this competition from here in Kumase. good afternoon representing the noble land of royals yeah a son to our girls senior high school i am ellen Owusu-Adako, principal speaker for the motion before the house and i quote the national cathedral is a necessity and quote the chair kindly permits me to elucidate certain key terms in the motion for the better understanding of my lovely audience as and when needed my subordinate speaker will tender evidence to back our claims macmillan dictionary defines necessity as a thing that is needed in a situation according to ajaya associate architects for ghana's national cathedral ghana's national cathedral is a unique 21st century landmark where democracy local tradition and religion are seamlessly and symbolically intertwined or in other chair the motion simply seeks to post it a physical embodiment of unity harmony and spirituality is a thing that is needed in ghana the chair it is on this note that i rise to present you fatwa arguments as to why the national cathedral is a necessity and not listen to the politically tainted arguments my opponent will be talking about the chair our premier point in favor of our stance is that the national cathedral is a necessity because it will provide revenue to the states the chair the addition of an economic engine to the establishment of the national cathedral clearly exposes the falsehood that have been put in the way in the construction of the cathedral by some people like my friends here the chair panel of judges kindly journey with me as i show you the economic benefits of the national cathedral as demonstrated on the monitor the chair the cathedral comes with multi-purpose rental spaces 1000 plus seater banquet walls restaurants and others the chair all these have multiple revenue sources for the state my opponent, are you not the same people who present the government to look elsewhere for revenue to end the needless taxes? So the chair, if this multi-purpose edifice is going to rake in revenue for the state, <laughs> why then do George and his OT brothers put obstacles in the way? <laughs> Boys, don't be enemies of progress. The chair, I believe many Ghanaians, including my opponent, are going to change their stance towards the establishment of the cathedral because before my submission, they thought it was a cool father's promise to God. The chair, let me ask my opponent this question. So my dear, if the National Cathedral is completed and operational, and income is being generated from it. <laughs> Will you go to a cool father's pocket <laughs> or his grandchildren? <laughs> you see your life. Again, the chair, the National Cathedral is a necessity because it will provide immediate employment for many Ghanaians. The chair, unemployment has been the bane of this country for so many years. And the construction of this multi-purpose and ultra-modern National Cathedral go a long way to minimize the high rates of unemployment in Ghana. The chair, the Minister for Information, Kojo Oponkroma, has indicated that the establishment of this National Cathedral is a great initiative and is going to provide people with jobs who work as management, security personnel, and others. The chair, my opponent, are you not the same people who are castigating the projects on the grounds that unemployment is rife in Ghana? Hence, the cathedral is not necessary. So if this multi-purpose edifice is going to provide Ghanaians with permanent and temporary jobs, <laughs> why don't you claim it's not necessary? Oh my... <laughs> See, it took me this long to get here because I wanted to just touch every region so that everyone would know that I am for everybody. But the amount of schools I'm seeing in the Ashanti region is making me want to spend like a month here. It's not going to be over. A video a day is not going to go around. So as they come, just take it, okay? When you see me in your region, collect me like that. I love the fact that in Ghana, everybody, we don't really do, eh, this one is from there, this one is from there. Because what happened in Ghana here is a child from the central can be somewhere at the Vota region schooling. A child from Vota can be found schooling at the Ashanti region. A child from the Ashanti region can be found at the northern part of Ghana. And of course, a child from the central can be found here in Accra, greater Accra region schooling. So it doesn't matter where people are from. Okay? And I love all of that energy. Okay. So <laughs> something about the alumni of this school is um, they are not the regular. I'm sorry. Okay. They are not the regular. Oh, these girls are these girls are international. They do their things from up there. Hard currency. Imagine people coming together to raise funds to support their alma mater with hard currency. See, could they cash me? Ah, could they cash me? Okay, let's go visit the S girls of of Yas and Tiwa school. And I will, I'm laughing because these girls are not joking. They are not the regular. Let's go and check them out, and I'll be back. Let's go. Crocro in Quay, yes, and to our baby, see other prem one way, why you be a minor. 
Kokro yinkwe ya santi wo ba besi oda fremu anwe wa ibiye ma yedi o. Wye, gana di shimayi, ahine nananu, ya santi wafo ya niye kase yo. My name is Josine Jikun. I'm the second vice president of the Yasantua O Students Association of North America. On behalf of my executive team and the entire members of this association, we would like to invite you all to our maiden inaugural ceremony. This is coming on on July 2nd, 2016 at the Airport Marriott in New Jersey. This event is going to be grand. It is an event that has been planned and executed by our very capable and able executives. We have come together to champion a very worthy course to help our alma mater. And because of that, we have put a lot of events together to raise funds for this very august occasion. We have invited very big dignitaries and many schools as well. Come you all and meet new friends. There have been friends you haven't seen in a long time. They will be there too. So come over. You can network, make new friends, and reminisce for the old time's sake. Put on your dancing shoes as well, because it's going to be dancing and fun and good music as well. Straight from home. So, so finally, this is the place. This is how it looks. I believe um, we've done about 95% of the whole work, as in the interior and everything. The place looks very nice. Very, very nice. Those are the, the frames on the walls, the four corners. and the fans working nicely yes all right those are the computers on some of the prefects 
testing it. Wow. What, what really bless the 1999 year group? It's a blessing to have you. Yes. If I wanted to play the videos, they are never going to end. They are like, that. They, are, they, are, they are many. Like, this is like a personal something. Like, we die here kind of vibes. Like, now what matter be this? Ah, Ghanaians. I love you guys, okay? And one day, I am praying that my own country will get there. I'm not going to give up, okay? I know I have Nigerians like myself that want the best for our beloved country and by the grace of god <laughs> by the grace of god it's going to happen i mean a lot of things i have seen in ghana you see a ghanaian go out there what a ghanaian has in mind is how to come back home and better he or her country they will have an idea that could make them alone single just them as a single as an individual a lot of money they won't take it they will bring it back home here see i know a lot of Ghanaians that when you hear their ideas the ideas that a regular Ghanaian has you know to come back here the ones that are not here when you hear what they have in mind to you hear the kind of business they want to come back and do in ghana you 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 you, you will fear when they, my own country will get there, we'll get there where we will love our country so much that we wouldn't want to spend our money out there. We wouldn't want to forget home. We wouldn't want to let's say, I don't want anything to do with home. You don't want to be angry. You don't want to talk about home. One day we are going to get to that point where everybody would talk about home and home will be home indeed. I'm learning this from you guys and I love what you guys are doing. Let's go back to the campus and do a random tour of this larger than life school and I will be back. Let's go. <laughs>
Boss and Tour is a favorite. Boss and Tour wins the gold. Silver and the bronze for The school's sanitation tour or train has been here for two consecutive years. In which our five never played. This year or this season, what differently are you doing to make sure that the award comes to your house? confidence in these kids for me is the confidence in these kids for me since i came to ghana i have never any day have anybody ask me which of the which university did you graduate from nobody have asked me where i come from is the question number one followed by where are you from these are the issues and then followed by how old are you because with all of these questions that people will ask you they can guess your life and guess your bank account by the time you tell them oh this is the school i attended okay mm, she's poor so but since i came to ghana i have not had anyone ask me where did you graduate from and i have been wondering is it that there is nothing about me that tells that i went to school <laughs> ah, or is it that I behave like someone that went to school like it's just kind of been there up to this minute nobody have ever asked where did you graduate from did you go to school did you not go to school i didn't understand but now i get it look at how eloquent this these kids are like the confident in the kids of the girls of yas yas and tua school is on another level like a yaga yaga they give it to you yaga yaga like these ones who come out and stand up for themselves and I love it. That teaches them hygiene. That teaches them respect. That teaches them. I get it. For me, I need another baby. That's the truth. Because the one I have here for Ghana, I don't think she's mine. Because any day when they gain admission to one of these schools in Ghana, one of these senior high schools in Ghana, for life, uh, even if I decide to go back to my village, she's not going to come with me. Honestly, I love this series. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that I will see you guys in another one. Bye.